Hey everyone and welcome to my tech care adventure tutorial and today I will be telling you how to do boot Ubuntu with Windows 7, XP and Vista. So everyone will be like wondering like why am I making this tutorial again? Now this is because the last tutorial I made was crap. And why? Because my computer got like you know virus or something like that and I had to format it and as you see over here it's like the new Windows 7 again and the the last videos tutorial was long and it was like you know not it was hard to do it and then my friend TechZone TV like he told me that there's an easier way to do it and like and when I did that it was like you know easy really easy to do it and you don't need a USB nor a CD to install it you just you can just automatically install inside your windows so today I'll be telling you how to do that okay now um, first if you want to make a partition so you have to go to start control panel oh sorry my computer manage Okay, and now for the XP users, um, you don't have you don't have this uh, disk management over here. Only Windows Seven and Vista has it, have it, and so I'll be upload I'll be like giving you a link in the description to download a partition software. Okay, so um, I already made a partition over here, as you see, and it's twenty eight gig. So um, if you want to make one partition, just choose your original or any um, hard drive you want to uh, make it make another partition. So just cli right click on that and click on shrink volume. Okay, now this will be loading so I'll just, um, just pause it and I'll get back to you again. Okay, um, now as you see over here, this is the partition menu, and it says over here that uh, my total size before shrink is like 2,900, 20,900, so I have like 200 GB, yeah, something like that, but um, now this is the in amount of space you want to shrink, so now if you want to make like for example um, like I want to shrink like 28 GB I want to make a partition of 28 GB now I just I won't just upload like 28,000 it will like make 27 point something like that now now 1 GB is like 1024 MB so just I uh, go to the calculator and just multiply 1024 multiply by 28 and 28672 so just I'll just write over here 26872 okay and this is 20 yeah oops 28672 so this is 28 GB gig and then just press shrink and it will make another partition like this one so yep now it's done the partition now step 2 is installing the Ubuntu now what you do is go re go to this website for ubuntu.com and just click on get Ubuntu now the most stupidest thing I've done is try it I chose this option and I, I haven't even read this the third option run it with Windows I was so stupid I just like inst installed with that option and I don't know what went wrong so you, ha you have to choose a third option to do it and that's the most easiest one to do it so just download that okay just download that and this is the option you'll get Ruby and just right click and run as administrator administrator for Windows 7 and Vista 
okay now you'll run this as you see over here okay now now there are like two partitions over here but I chose the second one the 27 GB free and the installation size now there's s many sizes over here now it tells you like you know um, if you choose more big sizes then it will install many programs and all that stuff but I don't want that much I'll do it manually so I'll be just choosing like 7 or 8 GB 7 GB is enough for me um, then the desktop environment now I chose Ubuntu now for the netbook users um, the netbook user should use the Ubuntu netbook so it, so it can be working in that okay and these other three options are different the, we don't use that so now the language you can choose any but I chose English of course now my username I want it as TechKMH now the password I have to choose just for password okay um, now then just click install oh l all lower cases oh okay it says that I all lower cases should be there okay now install okay it says yes allow access now it's installing Ubuntu now it's like taking 15 40 minutes like that and yeah so guys I'll just get back to you in that like when it finishes installing I'll just get back to you once again okay guys now Ubuntu installer has been completed um, now it's it now it says like reboot now or I want to manually boot later but I would go for reboot now um, so guys um, I'll be seeing you after rebooting not after like inside what you have to do so yeah okay okay guys I just rebooted my laptop it's loading and one more thing there's a good advantage that you don't need easy bcd that's a software that you need to you know <coughs> uh, how should I say this like um, make a boot make a boot logo make a boot you know ah, you'll understand but um, yeah now as you see over here there are two options over here the first one is Windows 7 and the second is Ubuntu so yeah I like I just said you don't need ECBCD to do this so yeah so I'll just go inside Ubuntu and just loading okay it's just completing the Ubuntu installation okay again okay now oh here is the boot logo so yeah even the boot logo looks nice even I said that in the last story but yeah I'm deleting the old one yeah and thanks to TechZoom TV again for helping me so yeah now it's just loading yay the boot logo the cursor is working okay cool the wireless network okay it's verifying <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, now it's creating a system in my partition. Okay, welcome to Ubuntu 11.04. It's copying all the files. Okay. Even the graphics of the Ubuntu is awesome. It's it's like you know um, Mac OS. If you're like a big fan of Mac, you can even install Linux or you can call it Ubuntu. And and I recommend you to download that. If you like, you know, you can afford to buy Mac OS, you can.
get this for free and it's not even illegal it's for free come on guys why don't you just download that and I'll be showing a tutorial of um, how to how to make your Ubuntu look like Mac OS so just wait for that and I'll show you guys the next step okay this is the Ubuntu software center as you see over here it tells it like you know downloads you can install like you know there's so many programs inside there you can do whatever you want like full software every software is there, like you know everything yep there are all games programs themes applications many stuff so that's nice okay oh the photo oh it looks nice the photo start looks nice oh it, it even has gimp image editor it, it even has gimp come on that's cool okay now what else oh yeah um there's a pro um, effect that makes your this you know the what do you call it any you know when you open any when you open my computer or something the above taskbar over there just you you know if you move it it makes it gives you a wobbly effect but it it's not it's it doesn't give you like normally but um you have to download that and i'll be showing you how and there's even a 3d desktop effect that's even cool um there's even uh i gave the first tutorial of mine is also a 3d desktop you can check that and you should see my voice over there it's like kid but now you see my voice like big manly style <laughs> oh even ubuntu uses mobile to you know if you just connect it there's like there's a same almost the same media player like itunes as you see over here it's almost the same and it's also nice here as you see over here even above over here you go there and there's this will be the media player you just you know choose the music and play it from there and the software will be banshee music player and ubuntu one music store that's like itunes store but in Ubuntu, it's Ubuntu One Music Store. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll just get. Oh, wait. If it's like, you know. Okay, it's just a little time. Waiting. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so now I'm installing the system. We. Even there is email and chat, but even it has Skype inside, we can use that. 